first off guys we're gonna be talking about last week's like uh superhero type you know the usual uh tokusatsu super sentai like sundays that uh, i always like take break from and watch like the latest episodes of a current like common rider or super sentai right uh so far geats and dawn brothers are you know fantastic right uh but right since dawn brothers is going to be ending like in about like two weeks right uh right now um they are in their part two of their four part like end game like finale, right? So we are getting a information about the next team that will take over Don Brothers and that's gonna be Osama Sentai King Oger, right? And that's gonna be the, uh, well, not really like rumored, but it was the, um, the Super Sentai that was rumored to have like insect themed uh power rangers right so this is like the first in like power rangers history to have an all-encompassing team based on insects right so the red ones like a beetle yellows a mantis uh blue is a dragonfly purple is a butterfly and the black ranger is a bee like a honeybee right and it's gonna have the most like mecha combinations there is so a lot of these like crazy rumors and they put out like a preview uh trailer we saw that like earlier i uh we reacted to it but uh i didn't get the chance to like upload it and all that shit but um yeah we're gonna be hyping ourselves up for osama sentai king Oger. a lot of like pedigree um legacy act no, not actors but directors are going to be making osama sentai king Oger, and the suits look clean um everything about it looks uh, awesome right it's gonna be like kings and insects right so it's got everybody like jazzed up me especially right i mean of course you know don brothers right i want to see it continue like forever because don brothers is like Right now, everybody's like favorite Sentai because of how wacky bullshit horseshit it is, right? And... But, uh... Every Sentai has to like go, right? Um... So, we're gonna be watching this, uh... Preview trailer, right? It's not gonna be a teaser trailer, but a preview trailer for Osama Sentai King Oger. Let's see how it is, right? And this- and... By the way, this trailer uh, was also debuted when Osama Sentai King Oger was having like a press conference, right? So they would introduce the main like roster uh, who are going to be the villains and uh, what are the characters like personalities are, right? So very excited to see, right? There is a prophecy. The fall of Earth. Oh, so it's like bugs versus bugs. <laughs> uh, good bugs versus evil bugs. Okay, sure. I'll take that. Five kings. Okay. Sure. A stole story from Mesa King, right? Fucking. <laughs> A lone rebel. Self proclaimed king of evil. This is the tale of the king who protects the earth. Who would be king? Okay. King 
King Oger. All right, so got me a little bit jazz, right? Right. I like the characters. Um, from what they like showed off. And there is like more detail like I have to like scrounge around on Twitter, but like yeah It's some like uh, bullshit Super Sentai like premise, right? I mean Every like Power Rangers Steve, they're not really like sophisticated like dramas, right? You're gonna fight some like hokey ass fucking villain and this is definitely like the hokey ass shit, right? Yeah, but this was like uh, the other stuff was like rumored about the uh, King of Ogers, right? So from what we remember is that um, they, uh, the five like kings are going to be based uh, on like representative like civilizations like for example the blue one right here Yanma Gast right motherfucker looks like a techno version of Kamen Rider 4's right yo is that my boy Gentano over there <laughs> Yeah, but he's got swagger. He looks pretty cool. He's the Dragonfly Oger. And then we have like the Kingdom of Health and Beauty, right? Which is like their um, aristocrat kingdom. Ishibana. Ishbana. Okay, so the yellow is a girl ranger. So that of course makes sense, right? She's going to be regal and prissy like that. Then we have like the snow country, right? Gokun. And I didn't know, and I didn't know that they were gonna have like a second female ranger. Holy shit! Rita Kanista shall not waver, but she looks cool. Yeah, she's got this like, she's like the total like mysterious like emo girl, like kind of getting off like the vibes from like Stacy from Zenkaiger. Yeah, but I didn't know that we're gonna have like a pink, we're gonna have like a secondary female ranger. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. And then Kingdom of Agriculture, which is the bee land. And I thought he was gonna be like the serious one because you know, usually like uh, black like Power Rangers in like Super Sentai, black or blue, or maybe even sometimes yellow or green. Uh, is always like the second in command and they would always have this like serious um, serious uh, uh, tropey ass attitude right they're they're the uh, emo like guys they they don't talk or socialize with anybody they're they're like that archetype you know but you see this man flailing around like a like an asshole right he's like a fucking kabuki man and of course like his design right like he holds like the sword like back. He's going to be like the ninja, right? But that's not the case here. Or maybe like who knows? <laughs> and then the ultimate kingdom like uh, this is where like all of like the this season's uh, mechas belong to. Shugodam, right? And this is like uh, the kingdom, the king of the land. And there's this like one uppity yuckity right here, right? A lone rebel with a short temp with a short a quickly changing temper. Goddamn flamboyant as fuck, man. All of like the suits are flamboyant as fuck. I remain unwavering. I'll rule over this whole world. Yup, and these are the boys, right? The kingdom of technology, the kingdom of beauty and health, the kingdom of the snow, and the kingdom of uh, agriculture. It, each one, each like ranger will have like a subordinate with them at all times, right? So this is like the blue one, this is like the, the yellow one. The yellow one, of course, because you know, prissy attitude. She's gonna have like a butler. The yellow one. I don't know what the fuck is up with this dude right here. Why is he- Wait, does he have like a nosebleed or some shit? What the fuck? Then we have the yellow one, which is like literally the referee from Samurai Showdown. <laughs> he just like drew like a smiley face on top of like his goddamn like claws. But yeah, like uh, that's gonna be King Oger. The tale of the man who would be king. 
But yeah, super jazz, super excited. Can't wait to uh, see it, man. It looks pretty. Uh, it looks pretty stellar and interesting. Fucking, I love this meme. <laughs> That's funny. That's legit funny. God damn it! Uh, God damn it! Like his face looks like so like uppity yuckity. Like he hasn't like hit puberty because that's like uh, you know Japanese like uh, actors like sometimes like in a nutshell. Damn, I can't like disrespect the man for like his drip, right? Everybody's got like some cool ass fucking like attire. Like the uh, wardrobe people for this show, they went fucking ham on this like season, right? It's pretty fucking nuts, right? You get to see my man with like the fur coat and everything and shit like that. Oh my god, it look it speaks like such fucking good ass good volumes. <clears throat> I love this like uh wardrobe like decision choice. It looks pretty fucking fantastic. So Toei has completed their annual Super Sentai press conference introducing the world to the 47 Super Sentai team. The members uh, of the new team are this actor, Taisei Sakai, as Gira. The self-proclaimed ruler of Shogodam, he is an orphan raised in a castle town with the power to become Kuwagata Oger. We have this like typical like uh, Red Ranger like motif uh, for this guy, right? This like young ass like spry looking dude right here. Um, he's gonna one day become like a king himself. Alto Watanabe, the general king Yanma Gust, the general king of Niko Sopa, a land of technology who worked his way up from the slums. Oh, so that's like, that. yeah, that's that dude. The, the guy that looks like uh, Four is over here, right? With like uh, headphones, he's got like the, he's got like the Joe jacket and everything. Okay. Erika Murakami, uh, Himeno Ran, queen of Ishabana, the land of arts and medicine. Oh, it's arts and medicine. Okay, that makes sense. A selfish person who will still fight to save others. Yep, that makes sense, right? This like, this like prissy like a uh, little character that we kind of know of from other like uh, other from like media. Yeah, she's gonna be like the brat that will like talk shit to you, you know, just because like you're you're like low and like bottom of the dirt. Yusuke Hiwakari as Rita Kan Kaniska. Ruler, uh, ruler and chief justice of the frozen land Gokan. Stubborn and apparently cold-hearted, but transforms into the powerful popular Oger. And Son Kaku as Kakuragi, uh, Kakuragi Daibowski. What? You have a Russian ass name for a Super Sentai character? Daibowski. Bruh. The lord of Tofu Agriculture Land. He is a manipulative and clever speaker with the power of Hachi Oger. Okay. Oh, he was this guy? Okay, there's okay. Th there's a reason why I look, man. The King Ogers unite to battle against the Earth Emperor Bugnarok. And we have uh, info on the two villains. Emperor Desnarok and Prime Minister Kamejimu. He will be voiced by this guy. Saber Shadow, Sonic Lee. Then we have the Prime Minister over here. This fucking like high school like graduate over here. Miki is known for the roles of James in Poke. Oh, he did Urahana Kisuke? Oh shit, okay, okay. That's pretty fire. Gira was an orphan after an event. His nickname is the King of Evil. Okay, so fucking some, some Zio type of like uh, things like going on over here. In Yama's country, Yanma's country, he is the president. His character is very juxtaposed, cause apparently he's the president of a technology-based country, but he grew up in the slums and speaks it a lot of slang. I mean, of course, that makes sense. He's got the fucking like mohawk. He looks like Gentaro from Fours, right? He's gonna be like that jive, like uh, young president, right? So that's pretty cool. Himeno's whole character revolves around how selfish she is, but one of her redeeming quality is that she is a genius doctor. Okay, okay. All right, that's cool. Well, I mean, she is the ruler of arts and medicine, right? So that's fair. Ka Ka Kaguragi is my favorite. 
He looks like a friendly and gentle soul. However, he's a paranoid, deceitful ruler who wouldn't even think of lying to save his ass or his nation. Right? I mean, the man looks like from... He, he is the tennis actor from fucking Zero One, but goddamn, look at his goddamn kabuki-ass motherfucker. Right? That's pretty cool. And then we have the king. The actual king of Shogodam. Kind of gives Ryu soldier vibes because he was around 200 years ago when he won a war against the Bugnodok. And this is where he got the main villain over here. He's kind of like the leader of the six countries since the Bugnodok are an underground nation. Okay, so he's gonna be the big bad. He's gonna be fucking, fucking stinks up, right? But, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's like, this is some hype ass shit. We're gonna be like hyping up, uh, King Oger, uh, quite a bit, right? Um, definitely like something, uh, anticipating to look forward to King Oger, right? Um, can't wait to see, like, what's up with this, uh, Super Sentai team. What are some, like, crazy antics are they gonna, like, uh, throw at us? It looks so cool, but, uh, we'll see. When's the when's the premiere episode for their first? Uh, the fifth of March. Okay, so the fifth of March will definitely be like getting some new information on King. O uh, we'll definitely be getting some some oodles of good info on King Ocher, right? Um, stay tuned for Toku Nation for further updates on this new chapter in Super Sentai history. God damn, this is pretty. This is pretty legit. Oh. Of <laughs> Mesu King, of course. <laughs> I had to like double check what like Mesu King like was, and I'm like, oh right, I remember. It's from Yakuza. 